And the unconscious guy is the, oh wait, there's the guy up north. Oh, um, can I adjust my uh, movement like? Uh, yes, if you want to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hit him if I am more judicious with my movement. If you're large, you said? No, if I'm judicious with my movement. Sure. And waiting for roll 20 to click it to work. Uh, yeah, no, I can't actually get in range. So I will move back to my original plan and off the unconscious guy. Or wait, no, he's unconscious. No one's threatening me. So I will do a full round action to cast an augmented body adjustment to heal 3d12 damage. All right. Yay, 13. Keeps a sharp stick in the eye. And between the movement bed and my regeneration, that's it for the round. And you can move on like. You were the okay. worst at rolling d12s. What was that? You were the worst at rolling d12s. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Obvious. <laughs> I suck at it. I don't think I've ever seen you roll much above average. Um, I'm pretty sure you're right. All right. Well, the Samurai Scout attempts to make an attack against... Aradaver, it looks like that fails. This is uh, under the instruction of the commander. It takes a five-foot step that way. Um, and then the scout will try a full round action now to see if he can swipe at Aradaver. And those attacks will all fail also. I laugh at him and tell him that he needs to train more. Hmm. It's He's sort of looking to the commander for advice. The commander had been giving him advice on tax this whole time but he had to switch to defenses because well death you guys right on top of them so it is vesper's turn okay i will attack the commander guy all right we're he's flanking ready. him yeah yeah he's flanked because of your special ability um if you're not going to move after your attack, you should five foot in. Oh. Yeah. That way we're both flanking the other guy. Well, yeah. you're flanking the other guy because of the sword. Yes, you are. Okay. So then you attack with your first attack. That will be enough to knock him unconscious. Yay! I actually hit somebody. Barely He's also did. enraged as unconscious. <laughs> it could be. And then Very when he drops unconscious, uh, it would be trivial for you to hit him with your other attacks, but um, you can of course choose not to if you want. Why would I choose not to? Because you you're not statistic. Him. Oh. <laughs> um, I mean, You're leaving the dead leaving horses other, for the uh, leaving dragon? Other people alive? Well, there's no reason to kill these people. They're not. They're just doing the job. Okay, I see Aradavar staring at me meaningfully, so I won't. Uh, <laughs> I won't. After Disapprovingly. The entire squad of people just doing their job. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't an excuse at Thurnberg. <laughs> All right. 
is that everything for Vesper, or you were gonna five foot? Uh, yeah, I'll move in. I'll move in one square. Can she um, use her extra attacks on the other guy? Um, uh, no, I don't think I can. Well, it depends on where you were. If you're right there, then yes, you can. Um. Well, that will you let me move first? Point. Yeah, I, I yeah, attack, so then you, I move. Um, if you attack, then move, then you wouldn't be able to do it unless you did the... Um, you gave yourself reach or whatever. I forgot what your um your reach oh, is. Oh yeah, the, I can make the second attack the reach, not the third one, but the second one. Okay. Then if you do that, then twenty four, I believe, would hit their AC now. Twenty four plus your um twenty plus bonus. Two something. Yep, so that would hit. So then you would deal what is that thirty two points of damage? Yes. And he would be bloody. All right. So then this uh, warrior over here kind of looks around, sees that the golems are basically just like being too distracted or disabled. His commander just went down, and he's going to make a break for it. Oh, that's not a good decision. It's not good. So he basically starts playing up that way. Um, we move to menu. Um, I think I'm just about ready to call it here, guys, actually. Because uh, with the commander down, none of these uh, guys have high enough AC or attacks for it likely to matter. And with the golems more or less disabled, I think that we could probably wrap this up without. All right. Just just as a note, Menu is going to totally cut down this guy who's running away. Okay. So we'll move yeah. to uh I guess to uh, montage here. So menu will cut that guy down. That's probably fine. We could probably do that. Um assuming he's not doesn't have too much of his attention taken up by the golems. So then Eridabra would be next. How are you going to finish this off? I'll just grab the guy south of me and put him in a sleeper hold. All right. Dranik just got here and he's like, ah, a dragon. Uh, <laughs> probably go oh, big reaction beyond that. Abishu. <laughs> um, Abishu will... Uh just heal and collect the eyes of the dead. Alright. Don't worry, dragon guy, we're good. <laughs> yes, nothing <laughs> suspicious here. This is what normal people do. Come on! We're I'm all extremely dragon. normal. That's prime fertilizer. Alright. Best word. Um... I don't think there's anything for me to do. Can I, uh, can I uh, hurt the golem? I mean, in the montage, yes. If you want to say you, you finish off the golem, you could do that. Sure, I'll finish off the golem. All right. They do have their AC reduced because of the electricity damage, so they're actually relatively vulnerable. Okay, then we'll wrap up this combat there, um, and we'll say that you guys did come out successful. I mean, you maybe cut down that one, but maybe a few of the others are kind of running for the hills that were over there in the far east. Um, but the dam is yours. Yay! We did it, guys. Now what? <laughs> it's against my vow of poverty to own a dam. It's okay. Uh, I'm it's claiming this not one. against Abshu's vow of avarice, so... Nice. That works. <laughs> but in all seriousness, uh, could we talk to the dragon to maybe send him as an avatar to uh, help the poor and um, uh, get out of the way? Uh, screw everyone else. Well, the dragon would respond. It would say, um, 
you have proven yourselves worthy to me and to Shen Tiang. And so if it is your wish to free this river, then I will help you. We seem in agreement that the people of the city need not uh, needlessly die. There are some efforts I can make to slow the river's advance. Slow it enough, perhaps, to save the people there. Great. Can we help you do that? You must free the river, destroy the dam, not allow it to be remade. Um, quick point of order question. Um, how far does the collective extend? Uh, because Abshu really can't do much to further this uh, if he has to stay within 100 feet of the dragon. Um, it depends on your level for the collective. How high is your level? Uh, would that ba be based on the casters? Yeah, sorry. Are you, you the caster or is that you're asking if the dragon is the caster? No, no, no. Um, is, is it menu you usually cast a collective? Yeah, me this menu doesn't have a collective version. Oh, okay. So nothing to worry about. Yep. Until he switches back, then we'll have the collective. All right. So if you get agree to Al, um, Al King Long's terms, then it will depart immediately for the city. How are we supposed to destroy the dam? We probably so should have thought of that before we agreed. immediately depart and look through the uh, um, where King Dranik was and then check other guard, guard towers for any schematics that might illuminate us and how best to destroy the facility. Right. And you just goes back to destroying the dam very slowly in his own way. All right. Yeah, I guess if menu can pull it apart brick by brick that might be a functional system now that we own the dam we can take as much time as we want well we have to do this to get the before the army uh the, before the armies meet really so, yeah no or... i understand that we, we've already opened all the floodgates so there's a rush of water going at this point you can just start tearing the thing down and over the course of time whether that's hours or minutes or days we rip it apart uh well, i mean get a big enough hole in there and we can just leave and let water pressure do its thing right so especially if you tack the weak points around where the water's already flowing that'll just further expand the waters yep that's what evil mind will do sorry so just to clarify we're not going to kill millions of people by doing this correct well <laughs> It sounds like the dragon yeah. to slow the advance of the river so that the people have time to escape, but to allow the river nonetheless to basically take the city. So, okay, so all right. Well, but before going this into very the water, morally to... questionable, but okay. <laughs> See, this is why real mind you is out of here. You know, you get someone else to do your dirty work, so you're good. Yeah. Well, actually, Abshu's going to scream at quote-unquote evil men, Hugh. Armin, you get your ass back here! Just stares. We, we kind of need this menu at the moment. Um, yeah, I had my uh, moral issues with this plan right from the beginning, but we <laughs> figured out that we could do this in a way that would cause little to no uh, casualties, and really just displace millions of people, which is going to be a major issue going forward, but we can deal with it as we go. It's better than losing. Yeah. Well, I don't 
I don't know if that's necessarily true, but with the options we were given, uh, this appeared to be the best well, option. I mean, short of Vesper, you're the most human of us. So I think you might have a different perspective from at least uh, many who are out. All right. While you guys are discussing, um, maybe it takes you know a few more minutes, I would expect, probably not hours or days. Um, you would deal enough damage in enough places to start to cause structural and uh, to compromise the structural integrity of the dam, and it would fold. Whoa. That is awesome. That's awesome. I don't stand there. Yeah, right, <laughs> far away. <laughs> yeah, Mainu is floating above the uh, team, run. <laughs> just ripping chunks out and throwing them away, not even caring. It's it's it looks good. If a plant could whistle, Abshu would be doing that while slowly walking away. The water trickling from the dam was pretty weak, but that uh rupture is awesome. Yeah. Well, I had to improvise for that the water. But then this is built in, so yeah, uh, yeah. But that's still it cracks. Uh, it looks awesome. Honestly, get rid of the characters and post that as a screenshot from what you're doing. Or leave the character, yeah. Leave the characters game. in there. It shows that it was a combat. Like that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, like that no, uh, that scene we did yeah, with the no, lava floor. In there, take a screenshot, and uh, this is pretty bloody cool. All right. Awesome. So, with that, then, um, this this all happened because of the triple net twenty on Abishu's check, right? <laughs> Wasn't it? Once um, again, Abishu saves the day. Yeah. Wait, what? Abishu got a triple net twenty. <laughs> Didn't you? Is that how you guys figured out about the dam? No, it just oh. rolled well. Oh, no, it was the other group. The other group had no idea what to do. They were just, like, rolling checks, and they got a triple net 20. Okay, yeah. We're just really smart. We don't need no divine intervention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they literally had no idea what to do. And they were just like, well, we'll try some knowledge checks. Anyway. Um, okay, cool. So then where to next? Well, what time of the day is it when we get here? It's like the end of the day, isn't it? Did we have to like yeah. force march to get here? Yeah, it was like late afternoon, early evening. Okay, well, I would like to go somewhere and rest up before we have to deal with the political fallout of this, because I think this, well, necessary is going to cause us a lot of headaches. Oh, well, yeah. I think we've made so many enemies just now. Yeah, one thing we did promise to completely destroy the dam so like is this does it seem like it's just a matter of time before everything falls down or is the hole just going to stay a hole and you think it's probably just a matter of time well oh, i think for be... now evil mind you is enjoying what he is doing so he's just going to help accelerate the progress yeah once you breach the arch of a dam it pretty much collapses yeah, I've seen some of the videos. I wasn't sure if that was all dams, but it's ooh, it's bad. No, the the structural integrity of an arch is that keystone. You take that out, and it just crumbles like a bunch of bricks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, as long as uh, everything will uh, be destroyed and we complete our part, the evil menu will go over to you guys and just stare at you. Can we have? Um, our mind you back now. Evil mind you will go just dive under the water where none can see. I don't notice a difference. Well, you, you would probably notice a pretty big difference because good mind you looks like a person, evil mind you is in a big blob of darkness. Pretty sure besides, they're both big blobs of darkness. Well, besides, Eric Davar is the one who goes around <laughs> slaughtering people. That's not mind you. Well, he didn't slaughter the people. 
this time. He just yeah, left the first time. part of the damn unconscious. Oh my sword. god, no, we must have moved them out of the way. Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll say you moved them out of the way. What's the, the point time... of me not killing them if we're just gonna <laughs> let them drown? Let nature take its course. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. So then um, I think at this point, Dranik's going to recommend that you guys just go back to the city of Jianling. The one that's being flooded? No, the your original city that you guys originally set out from, because that's where all the leadership is and everything else, right? We could also not do that. Wait, was Dranik going or was everyone going? Sorry. Well, he was Dranik was just recommending that as a good place to rest. I mean, there's not much else around where you guys are that's like a great oh, place to rest. Still... Oh, I figured we'd just go into the hills beside the dam and just pitch a tent and go to sleep. I mean, we had to force March to get here. We're not going to make a three-day journey to some place to rest. Okay. So you guys going to go into the hills and rest or are you going to go up this way or what? We want to go to the Weatherstone so we can't be scried on. I mean, maybe a little further than the... I don't actually care where we go. I just thought that it didn't make a whole lot of sense for us to travel really any distance if we had to force March to get here. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I was just going to suggest to get out of the uh, uh, area of easy opportunity from our last battle. Yeah, I, I figured we go like a mile into the hills and then rest. Yeah, that works. Again, we do have the scryer person. Well, if she can't figure out that we just blasted the dam, uh, she's pretty terrible at her job. I mean, that's not really what I'm saying. I'm saying if she want, if we want to go somewhere where we couldn't be scryed, we'd maybe go upriver and just rest underwater or something. Um, that That's great for that's those of us who don't breathe. Water, as long as we have the don't you have to protect water the breathing? The party. Yeah, I have uh, water breathing for like eight hours, but what are we going to do with Vesper? It sounds very restful. Yeah. Well, we don't like the water. Like I can look up exactly how it works, but I don't think I have enough that we can all go to sleep on a water breathing spell. Vesper, can I just feel in some is that 3.5 or uh, Pathfinder water breathing? Um, well, I'm using Pathfinder because that's the game we're playing. Well, some of your stuff is... None of my stuff is 3.5, except for the vow. Yeah, some of your stuff is 3.5. Abshu, so. what did you just say? Oh, I was uh, apparently failing at mimicking a deep one and saying, Vesper, could I interest you in some gills? Oh, there you go. Gills, huh? Tempting, tempting. Well, it is two hours per level, and I can I mix... divide against people touched. So. Yeah, I, it, it, it sounds like my nightmare sleeping underwater. Yeah, it would be because it would be exactly eight hours, and with Dranik, unless he has an ability to sleep underwater, it really wouldn't matter. We could go and find a cave in the hills. Can hey, like, can we do a like a survivor roll or something to see if we can find a uh, cave where you have to go underwater to get to it? Sure. Doesn't it just need to be underground? It doesn't have to be underwater, does it? Well, if we yeah. walk up to a cave and then go inside, it can be. Yeah, if she's us watching us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how's so, that any different than we walk up to a cave with water and go in it? We go underwater where she can't try us, and then we swim into a cave from there. We could be anywhere. Yeah. In the, so uh, 22 river. survival check to find a, uh, a suitable uh, underwater cave system where we could lose her eye. All right. So um, you're searching kind of the area around, and I was going to remind you guys that the where it's indicated here on the map is the the river, like as it originally flowed, and this dam was not blocking up a river, um, it was actually blocking up a canal. 
all. So the area that you're looking around here is all man-made. As a result, there's not any like real natural form caves off of this canal system. Um, likewise, um, looking at the hills in the surrounding area, there's not a ton of um, caves. This is a very unusual geological formation where there's just these tall spire-like mountains. Um, again, not a lot of uh, convenient places to hide in those. Would uh, geography or engineering be more appropriate to see if there are maybe a uh, vulnerable spot of uh, easy to dig out clay, for example, to build ourselves a uh, burrow? Um, you could try. So how far are okay. away are we from this Weatherstone place? A hundred miles. Um, yeah, so, sorry, let me, okay, so with that check, um, you are aware that um, these mountains, um, though a natural formation, are also inhabited, inhabited by the people of the Yutushan, who have uh, many dwellings that are kind of up near the, the top or other sides of the mountains. The Yutushan in general are allied with Yuan Shu, but that doesn't exclude the possibility that there are just some normal people living in normal houses, and that uh, maybe your best bet would be to go and find one of their homes. Let's kill them and shake it. You could also kill them and take their homes if you felt so inclined. And um, you are aware with that check that there is a great fortress in the nearby mountains. Um, it would be several miles from your current location, but presumably you you could get there. Would that be the fortress that our ally is taking over? Yeah, so they're, they would be trying to go after that fortress um, as part of taking the Weatherstone. Yeah, maybe we should go back that way and uh, help our allies there. I kind of think going back to the battlefield makes the most sense. Like, that's where the actual war is. Oh, remember, we're not frontline combatants. We were supposed to, you know, manipulate things uh, to whatever degree of subtlety behind lines, including controlling the weather stone. <laughs> subtlety. Yeah. I look at the massive broken dam. <laughs> it's yeah, like I said, varying degrees of subtlety. <laughs> Usually not. I totally yeah. get that you're not a frontline fighter, but I am. I yeah would love well, to be in the middle of a big battle. But I mean, overall, the party and, uh, you know, given that, we could be most effective, like, backing up the uh, complete capture of the fortress in the Weatherstone with, uh, you know, you being able to just relatively dominate the front line and the rest of us back you up as range fighters. Um you, you know, solidify our side's uh, hold over that front. I mean, this isn't about one battle. This is about a war. No, that's totally fair. I just figured the biggest battle uh, and most decisive battle would be the one in the uh, center of the province. So that would yeah. be the one that well, would I mean, make the biggest we've difference. We've already shot on that to a fair degree. Well, that's assuming that he turns around and goes back to the city, which is now basically being evacuated. Like, the benefit of this is that we caused a great deal of chaos, but the long-term effect is that now he has absolutely no reason to go back to the city because the city's lost. Well, that's not entirely correct, but I don't really know what we would be able to do in the big battle. We're not going to be able... The best Can we could do speak is... Up a bit? Oh, I've sorry. got your volume maxed and can barely hear you. Yeah, sorry. Give me one sec. 
But uh, the most that we Thank could you. really do is maybe go after commanders and try to assassinate them during the battle. But if you just go around punching a bunch of soldiers against an army of 200,000, it's not really going to matter much and you'll eventually die. So. I mean. Uh, versus if we can uh, solidify the hold of the new uh, um, Lord of the whatever Weatherstone uh, and possibly allow her to actually leverage it in combat, that might be more than we could ever hope to accomplish on our own. Yeah, the, the weather sphere is like, from what we've heard described, it, it's literally meant for, well, I won't say meant for, but it is extremely effective at just killing off, off entire armies if you can use it at a high level. Uh, sorry, I uh, barely heard half of what you said, but wouldn't that be what we want? Am I really quiet to everyone else? And I can hear you fine. No, I turned you down because when Brad asked you to speak up, you were blaring on my end. Yeah, sorry. It seems okay from my end. Yeah, maybe it's a problem with... Maybe you just need to restart your Discord, Brad. And let's see here. I'll... Uh... See if I can tweak Nick's channel even more. Can you say something, Nick? Yep, testing one, two, testing one, two. Wow, that's Max and still incredibly low. Well, we'll just go from here. All right, but yeah, I was just saying the weather, the weather sphere is uh, very good at taking out armies. So if we could help her use that, I think that would be more effective than anything we could individually do inside the uh, battle. But of course, we don't know we can help her use it. But I'm fine doing anything. I just don't want to sleep underwater. Okay, well, it sounds like you guys are still going to be heading in that direction, is that right? Like you're going to be heading towards the fortress then? Uh, probably. One thing before we head off, would Dranik be able to t uh, try and see if we're being scried on? Is he able to do that? I guess he could try. Um. I'm not sure what abilities he has. Yeah, I thought he had something, but like, I don't remember. I guess, um. I mean, he has like non detection and stuff. Well, that does. Do we know if that stops her? I don't think non detection. Non detection would definitely stop her, but it, to overcome it, it's a caster level check, and I assume that she's high enough level that she can trounce Dranic without any trouble. So I guess I, I will go into the ethereal plane and take a look around around over here. Okay. So you still near the dam then or where are you? Yeah, this, this is by, near the dam while we're taking, trying to decide what next. Okay. Is regular menu back? Yes, regular menu is back, and he's like, "Oh my God, you guys wouldn't believe what I saw! You, everyone was so amazing, and their alternate form took down this damn so awesome. This was great!" Yay! Yeah, I was awesome too. I didn't whiff at all, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, I saw you. You were like just chopping the heads off of those those golem things. It was oh totally. Yeah, the same thing uh, happened here. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's too much power to let me decide what <laughs> happened on the other side. <laughs> yes, mind you, gives a description of things that happened, and we will, uh, at some point, that'll be discovered. All right. 
Um, so he gives a description and then um, goes into the veil from the veil, looking out. Um, you will see that uh, the diviner's eyes are trained on you from the stars up above. All right, go and have a conversation with the diviner again. It's like, hey, remember me? Talk last time. Still time to turn against that guy who just destroyed this whole damn thing. Got a dragon. You know, pretty cool. Anyway, uh, do that. Uh, blink once if you agree. Giant eye in the sky. The eye is unblinking. I punch the eye. Well, you can attempt to. You can make a little save. I did it last time. I'm going to do it again this time. It's great. Not very good, but... All right. Well, you attempt to punch her in the eye to warp reality to fit your needs, but uh, instead it's the world sort of extends around you with the stars kind of stretching out until it feels like you're just in an infinitely long corridor with nothing but you and the eye staring you down. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess I'll just get out of the book, try and leave the veil, like just looking angry at All right, so you leave the veil. Well, at first I would say, it's your last chance, is things ain't going your way. Just try your best, you know, do a little send them to me, and uh, that's okay, and I'll just tell me. And then, yeah. All right. She doesn't give you an immediate response. So then once that is completed, you've confirmed that she does have her eye on you. How does that change your all of your plans for where you're going to go or what you're going to do? I'm just as unconcerned as I was originally. Is she the dragon? No, she's the diviner. I don't know, eat some of her subjects' eyeballs and go about my business. All right, so you seem totally unconcerned. Uh, mine, you would still suggest that we do something that would not enable her to see us, but, you know, if others are fine with it, then, you know. Well, I mean, part of the nonchalance is to you know, let her think we don't care and then try to sneak off when the moment is right. And oh, really, yeah. how much of her life is she spending staring at us? Like, there's an entire army battling out and other threats in the world and she's spending all of her time looking we at us? We just nuked the dam to flood a major city. I mean, you think she'd care? Yeah, I definitely think that she would look at us and try and figure out what we're up to and what we might be doing next, but we're laying on the ground going to sleep. She's not going to stare at us for eight hours. Well, my concern is more, she says, okay, they're sleeping there, gets one of her fast-moving buddies or somebody they and do. sends them over to us. Yep, and if she does that, then we're screwed. Like, does it... We've already determined there's no way we can hide from her. That there's no caves. There's nothing zero we can do. Way what we have determined. We could go up the canal, or go up the canal and do what? We're all exhausted. Well, not really. Yeah, really. We forced March to get here, and then went through a huge battle, and then marched a mile into the hills. We haven't gone in the hills yet. Whatever. So where where do you want to go in ten minutes? Like we. We're all already exhausted before we start this. How many adventure. uses of lay on hands do you have left? Uh, four, six, and then I have uh seven channels, or sorry, right. six channels. So how many times can you remove exhaustion? Um, 
with channel energy, I could remove exhaustion from everyone six more times. All right. So if we needed to, we could go up the, we could go up the, the, the waterway thing, and get as far as away as we can. And how long does it take for the waterway to get up to the uh, river? Um. So that's probably like, you know, fifty miles from you or so. So that is something we could do. Okay, but how does that change whether or not the diviner is looking at us and sending someone who can move super fast to come and get us? Well, she can't see us if we're under the water. If we can get to the river, we can find an underwater cave. Okay, well, that's what you want to do. I, I think it makes no difference one way or the other. And the sooner we rest, the sooner we get back to full capacity. Well, that would be what my vote would go to. Okay. And yeah. so that is what you guys are going to do then? Sure. <laughs> okay. So then, let's see here. So there's this stuff. Hmm. Okay. Someone playing the trombone. <laughs> Sorry, no, I think that's <laughs> neighbor's moving furniture. Uh. <laughs> sad trombone. Very sad trombone. I lived most of my life in an apartment building, and I miss absolutely none of it. Yeah. We're thinking about moving soon. In the next few months. Where are you moving to? Probably just to West Oakland, but we might move into the city. Just uh, we need to stay kind of in and around the city, but we want to take advantage of the rent situation out here. Everything getting cheaper. Yeah, you picked just the right time to move to San Francisco. Everything just went to hell. Yeah. It's I thought it was actually going to be a terrible situation for you, but if you're renting, it's awesome because everyone's fleeing the city. Wait, what's going on? Everyone's dying of COVID. Oh, no. yeah, right, got it. We're all dead. They're not actually dying. It's just, it, I guess everybody has decided that now is the right time to leave San Francisco. So there's a lot of people moving out. Just need like three more weeks and I can get my second vaccine and I'll be good. Yay. Hopefully not die. I think uh, California by population just lost three seats um, because so many people have left the state in the last year. God. Like it is well, they, absolutely devastating. Yeah, they're just doing the census again, right? They're redoing that. Yeah, and the, for the, uh, what is it? Um, congressional seats the number of seats they uh get i think went down by three and texas got two of them why are people moving to texas Ugh. because they don't have all the stupid rules of california texas just lost power <laughs> did they for a while in that storm <gasps> Yeah, but that's been an issue in Texas forever. I don't know why they haven't fixed it, but Texas has a really significant issue with cold weather. They just don't normally get cold weather. I think the last time that happened was in like the 90s. Mm. Like California has earthquakes. Like you have the same situation. Why would you live yeah, there? There's earthquakes. Got something. <laughs> 